Okay, gonna make a quick training video on how to order turf for a project. All right, first we go to our foreverlawnstore.com, log in, and A, we wanna know who it's for, the type of turf, uh, how many rolls we need, the length of each roll. For simple purposes, this is actually a project that is adding on one roll. So we're going to go through that. So this is logged in to the main store. There's three options at the top here for everyone's store, visit the blog or view our resources. For ordering, we're going to go to pretty much forever on store. You can tap on that. It'll load up to that page. And then for example, the type of turf we're going to order is actually this LM 50 right here in the top. Often though, we'll have to search for the type of turf. Uh, it's easy to go into the category or type it into the search up here at the top. But for this sake, we'll go ahead and click on um, 50. And this customer needed an additional roll, that 21 foot length, which is 315 square feet. So what we need to know are how many rolls we're gonna order and the length of each roll. And often when there's multiple rolls, they are different lengths, okay? In this case, we're ordering one roll that's 21 feet long, and the math equals 315 square feet. The product here costs 1,058, the intended use, residential. Pretty simple as that. Add to cart, All right? And that gets done processing. Now, I'll come over to the cart at the top. Double check that this is what we need. One roll, 21 foot length, type of turf. Good to go at this point. I'm gonna to proceed to check out. There's tax here. Okay, so in the checkout process here, we get it delivered to our office. Okay, we often only get it delivered to the office uh, there may be some commercial jobs where we would actually have it delivered to the job site. For residential, we do not. Okay. Name this project. This uh, We're going to need to change this because it automatically inputted this in here. So the project for this one was for CJ, Jones, and whatever will help you remember what it's for. This was for you know, additional square footage or backyard. All right, so this information stays the same. The name first, company, this can change to for a long go coast, should be that. Um, our address, Different Beach, Florida, none of that change. And there's a few things we would need to select. This one, they finally made this optional. We used to have to come here and say, this is not a host sale. Uh, it's a project in any exclusive territory, optional. It is not. If it was, we would have to say yes. And then uh, further details would follow. Uh, since I'm ordering it, I am gonna add in uh, the project manager's email. All right, and anybody else we would need to, but we really don't need anybody else. In this case, we will also use uh, ACH payment. Uh, that saves us a little bit of money as well. Uh, and we want to have individual orders for individual projects. There have been times when we've made one order for multiple projects. I need canine grass for this project and I need landscape grass for this other project. And what would happen is if any turf is delayed in that order, it delays the entire order. So we're no longer doing that because in the past we've had delays with canine, which they would have the landscape in stock, but not ship it to us because it was all in the same order. Okay. And we're back. Uh, it finally came to ACH. All right, the other thing we need to make sure up at the top is that we have the shipping phone number uh, in here. 
because if you hit process order, it'll come back and say, oh, enter phone number. As well, this could be an additional note. This is a, and we already, any notes could help out. So I'm going to hit place order. Oh, project in. Nope. I had to refresh it. So again, okay, place order. And did I miss something else? Okay, so as you can see, if you miss something, it'll be in red. Should be good to go. See the ACH gives us a little discount. Place order. Once the order is placed, we will screen grab the order details and then input this details here into Monday so we can track it all. Things we want to get is like the order number, date, order total, so on. So we will screen grab this and uh, save this for later. Save. All right. This order has been done.